to the channel. I wanted to go over this cool 350 watt power inverter that I got off of Amazon. And uh, it runs off of DeWalt or DeWalt compatible batteries. These are the 20 volt, six amp lithium ion batteries. These are not DeWalt, they're off brand. But uh, I wanted to explore this as an alternative power source for when you lose the power or when you're off grid. So we'll get into that today. So when the power goes out or we're off grid, almost everybody, at least in the U.S., uh, would like uh, some sort of alternative power source. Uh, you know, and alternative power sources can range all the way from something like a flashlight up to... Uh, uh, gasoline power to diesel power generator. Uh, solar generators have gotten more popular uh, in recent years. Uh, a lot of the brands out there are brands like Jackery, uh, Blue Eddy, EcoFlow, uh, and some of those generators will put out as much as 1500 watts, 2000 watts, 2500, 3500, and they can get quite expensive. They come with you know solar panels, different fittings and they are designed for uh, powering things like appliances and uh, a situation where they've got multiple outlets and where you could power appliances and things like lights and fans at the same time maybe even a small window unit uh, for air conditioning although that would drain those pretty quickly <clears throat> however they get like I said really really expensive and for a lot of folks including myself I've gotten really really interested in cheaper smaller portable uh, power supplies and uh, i've got in this array this is one of the one we're going to talk about today i did a video uh in the past on the tiki hand crank generator which is not a solar generator it only puts out 150 watts but i like it because it can be charged with a hand crank whereas these others can't um, but if you look at these two solar generators, this is a Predator. It's put out by Harbor Freight. I think I'll do one, a video on this. Uh, I just got this. It's 350 watts. This power inverter is also 350 watts. And then I've got the Jackery 290, which runs off of, of 200 watts. Uh, these are great things to have. But what makes this unique is because it runs off of these batteries, these batteries, uh, can actually be removed and fitted with a fitting that allows you to run uh, things like uh, anything that runs off of a USB or a, uh, a type C connection you can take it to different rooms in your house uh, and distribute this power instead of running everything back to a single plug or a power strip so I thought that was really cool so in this range of power output 350 watts this is a great range for dealing with things like laptops lights uh, phones fans uh, the smaller things that you would need at night in your house to stay well lit or to stay cool without running heavier things like deep freezes or uh, refrigerators or air conditioners or anything like that and definitely not crock pots and that sort of thing so I want to get into this and uh, focus on it today. Okay, so before I get into the details of this and how it works, I just wanted to talk about the whole setup and how this is put together. The way this thing uh, was invented or designed, I guess, someone realized, and I don't know who along the way, but we've got in this country tons of garages and homes full of Pow cordless power drills, power saws, that sort of thing that run off of 20 volt batteries. And they are a power source, but typically they have been accessible only to your drill or your DeWalt tool or your Milwaukee tool or your Ryobi tool, whatever suite of tools you have, if you have one. And then someone came along and said, hey, let's build one of these where we can put those same batteries in here, uh, hook them up and they'll be connected to an inverter and now you can you can generate 110 current for your household use in the US or DC output or USB output electricity. So that was the idea. Uh, now what I was talking about at the beginning of the video was having a cheaper power source. And so, uh, you know, something that you're not going to spend 3,000 bucks on. And uh, I got out for all of this for about 300 bucks. 
I bought 20 volt off-brand Dewalt compatible batteries from Amazon. Uh, these all together were about 99 bucks. Uh, I bought two converters uh, to go on to these batteries that allow you to use them as USB and type C uh, power sources. That was around 17 bucks. I had to buy a DCB 104 lithium ion charger. This was about $69. And then I had to buy the unit itself, which is, uh, or was about 114. Last I priced it, it was uh, 119. As far as the brand goes, this was made in China. And every time I look it up on Amazon, it comes under a, a different brand. So it's, it's I've seen it under the Hop Hook store, under the, uh, Philanthka store, I think, or Philanka store, uh, and uh, a lot of different brands. And so every time I go on there, the brand, the brand name changes. So I really don't know what brand it is. Uh, but if you will look up 350 watt power invertible Dewalt compatible, this will show up. So all of this is for Dewalt compatibility. Uh, but you can buy similar setups, like I said, for other things like Milwaukee or the, the main, the main uh, power uh, tool brands out there. They're, they're, these suites are out there for, for all of these different brands or for a lot of them. Uh, and so what I wanted to show you was in order to, to get this suite, you'll have to make four different orders. You'll have to order your batteries. You'll have to order your power station. You'll have to order your converters or adapters for your batteries. And you'll have to order a power uh, or battery charger i say you'll have to make that you know, you'll have to order all four of these different products but that's not necessarily true if you are a proud dewalt owner and you already own dewalt batteries and a dewalt battery charger uh, you may be in a position where you could get a station like this and uh, you know you're going to be out for 114 bucks here and 17 bucks on your uh, adapters uh, another thing I wanted to say is I'm budget shopping here. Um, these batteries, you know, I get them for, uh, you know, roughly $99 for four of them. I just priced them now. They're like at 86. Uh, they are Dewalt compatible. They're the 20 volt max lithium six amp hour batteries. Uh, a single Dewalt battery costs $86 more or less uh, that's one place i priced it on amazon i've seen them for more than that and less depends on the sale but uh, they're substantially more expensive i am not uh, at all saying that these batteries are as good as dewalt or that they're superior uh, usually in the marketplace you get what you pay for i don't know but what i'm looking for is a cheap power source that is reliable so that's the context of this uh, video okay before i get into a actually the uh, inverter itself i wanted to talk about the batteries this is a 20 volt lithium battery it's got six amp hours on the front you can see the charge meter you just press this button uh, and it'll give you the uh, level of charge we're at about two-thirds now uh, that's how you know whether it's fully charged when you've got it on the charging cradle uh, on the back is the release switch uh, so when you're going to pull it out of the a tool or like out of the inverter uh, to use it independently you have to press that as a release okay so this is the side of the inverter this is where the batteries go this is the cradle to put them in got them on both sides so to load this up I just take the batteries click them on one at a time until you get all four of them on there Okay, so this is the unit itself. Um, you've got the four batteries on here now, and I wanted to show you on the console here, uh, you've got a power button, a light button, and your inverter button or AC button down here. But I'm gonna start by holding this down, and your uh, power display will turn on. You've got the 20 volts, and it's showing uh, two watts are being drawn. This usually drops down to one. Uh, I think what the, that is, is those watts are the uh, power being used to um, actually power the, uh, the display here because the inverter is not on yet. So uh, anyway, you've got the power button on the back. You've got a light, just like you do in the, uh, on a, uh, a Jackery. I call them gable end lights because it looks like a house in your lights up at the top but um, 
this is not as a direct beam as the uh, as the Jackery. It's more like a floodlight, and it's turned on. And you can only turn the light on if the power is on. You can't turn the light on separate from the power button being off. So hold that down for a minute, and you'll see this is a 300 lumen light. I put it in one of my rooms last night. Turned the light off and turned this on, and it it lit up the whole room pretty well. It's a good light. Um, so that's just a good benefit to have in an emergency situation. Okay, so back to the front of the unit. I've got the power on, but I've got the light turned back off. Um, I want to turn on the inverter now. When you do this, what it does is it uh, provides alternating current power to this receptacle. This is one of those 110 plugs nested inside of a uh, 220, I believe. I think it takes both top of plugs so what I've got a set of LED lights here and I'll plug this in Let's see how this works yeah so we get good light um, so you can run uh, household appliances off of that plug that are typically alternating current which is really cool in addition to that, you've got the 12 volt output, you've got the Type-C connector, and you've got the three USB outputs. Okay, so now I want to talk about the adapters. These adapters have the Type-C uh, port as well as the USB, and they just go on top of individual batteries. And that's where this unit gets really, really interesting to me. Uh, what you can do is you can pull each of these batteries, put an adapter on it, take it to different locations and have power sources in many different locations. I'm going to turn this uh, power back on and then I'm going to turn the inverter on. And something else I want to show you is you can take out batteries. I know you can take out two. You may be able to take out three, I don't know. But imagine a situation where you take out half your batteries you still got your 20 volts. You just don't have as much time uh, to use this unit because you have your battery supply or your battery reservoir, but it will still run for quite some time like this. So you can imagine having this hooked up uh, to an AC 110 appliance and then being able to take these batteries with this adapter and you slide those adapters on just like you would if you were going to hook the battery up to a tool and now you've got a fully charged battery with a USB port and the type C connector okay so what do you use with a with a power source like this well um, I uh, did a video similar to this with the Tiki hand crank generator and I used a, a 5 watt fan during that video and I also used a 5 watt uh, LED bulb these things can easily be run off of uh, a unit like this. Uh, and in addition to that, let's try the fan real quick. Make sure it runs. Yeah, so you got lights and fans. Um, one of the things that I really like to do, and this is another use, um, I backpack fairly often not as much as i used to but i enjoy backpacking and when i'm on the trail for multiple days i like to stay in touch with my family and i also use my phone for navigation it's very common for me to take something like this this is one of the battery banks that is uh, got foldable solar panels on it and it also has a little light on it but i take this to uh, serve as a power bank for charging my phone i have an iphone that's older it, the battery doesn't hold up very well. I need to get a new phone. But I weighed this on my kitchen skill, and I weighed this. And this only weighs two more ounces than this at most. I think it was like 1.75 ounces. And uh, this battery's got more oomph to it. Uh, but one of the things is this could be used to, you know, uh, run fans on a trail uh, if you're camping in summer, but also, uh, you know, charge your phone your cell phone and uh, it's been my observation that usually these things don't they will charge with the solar panels but it takes a long long time 
and you have to have solar radiation. Oftentimes I'm in the shade in the forest. So usually once these are fully charged, whatever I have in my power bank when I leave the house is what I have on the trail. I don't usually use the solar panels. Um, so if you had something like this in a power station, you would, you know, it could be as a, used as a substitute for this. You wouldn't even have to buy these sort of things. So I like that. And, uh, another use, I don't know if I can use this for an electric blanket or not, but I recently I'm experimenting with a USB electric blanket that comes with its own battery source. But I wondered if maybe this could be used in a situation like that. I don't know, but really, really cool. Um, you know, and you can also, I'm assuming, run a laptop off of this. Uh, I don't, I haven't tried that yet. But you can see all of the different uses out there for being able to move a battery like this to and from. In addition to hooking it up to your DeWalt drill or your DeWalt whatever appliance. So really, really cool. So I'm going to add this station to my alternative power supplies for when things go down. And, uh, uh, I think it's really, really neat, and uh, I'm going to uh, use it and see how it, it works out. So just wanted you guys to have a look at that, and uh, maybe it's something that you can put in your arsenal as well. So this concludes the review of the 350-watt power inverter, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Appreciate you watching. Thanks.